Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, my people, the report we are getting now is that Nam the Kano's health is worsening because for almost seven days now, they kidnapped him. He has refused to eat something for fear of being poisoning in the... Uh, custody of DSS and for almost seven days now someone has not eaten anything joined to the condition he is now <laughs> that is a very terrible something there is also a report that they tried to inject him with one poisonous something like that all that we are going to cover in this particular news but please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button and that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read can held worsening in DSS core study and this is coming from IPOB members. It says the indigenous people of Biafra has said its leader Mazen Nam the Kano has refused to eat for almost seven days for fear of being poisoned in the department state service core study which is DSS. The Office of the Media and Public Secretary of the Secessionist Group said this in a statement sent to our correspondent in Oka, Anambra State, and this report is coming from Punch newspaper. Uh, it goes on to say, the group alleged that there were plans to inject Kano with poisonous vaccine that would make him die slowly, warning that such would occasion catastrophic consequences if carried out. The statements read in part, the mission they could not actualize in September 14, 2017, when soldiers invaded his Afaruku home during Operation Python Dance is what they want to actualize now. His health has been deteriorating in the DSSC as he has refused to eat their food since almost one week they kidnapped him. His lawyers are being harassed and we pity them and Nigeria if anything happens to our leader, Mazen Nam the Kano. The Nigerian government and security agencies will understand the products we are made of and how prepared we are. Southeast governors and Ohanese, including politicians in the region, must ensure that nothing bad happens to Nam the Kano because Mieti Allah and sympathizers of terrorists are going free in the country, but ordinary persons and innocent citizens are being molested every day because they are Biafrans. We won't accept that. We also want to tell the DSS to jettison any plans to inject our leader with poisonous vaccine that will make him die slowly. Any such attempt will come with unimaginable consequences. Nam the Kano must not die in custody. All right, guys, and uh, that is it for you all from IPOB members to uh, DSS. There was also a report that said uh, his family members were not allowed to see him. The people that are supposed uh, to prepare him food were not allowed to see him. And we know that there is no way Nam the Kanu will collect anything from DSS to eat. Even Shore was saying it the other day that he should not eat anything from DSS. And that one was speaking out of experience because he's been there before. Nam the Kano also was with them before. So uh, there is problem and the world really need to intervene because there is nothing that Nam the Kano has done that the Fulani terrorist groups we have in Nigeria have not done. And yet they are working freely in Nigeria without nobody questioning them. There is nothing that Nam the Kano has done to the Fulani government we have that Boko Haram has not done. Yet those ones, they are working freely. They know where to get them if they want to get them. The worst they can do is to grant them amnesty and recruit some of them into our military. Why innocent people 
who are only asking for what is their fundamental human rights are being persecuted. Something needs to be done, my people. And there are so many miseries surrendering this is a rest that you and I doesn't know. And that is why we are seeing all these crooked waka in the part of the government. How can you arrest somebody? Now, I'm going to let you guys watch a video. Maybe most of you must have seen the video. I don't know. The Kenya government, they've come to clear out their name. That they don't know, like they are not aware of Nam the Kano's arrest. They are not connected to it. And truly, he was arrested in Kenya. That is to tell you that these people, there are so many illegality that surround his, this his arrest. It wasn't arrest. Let's use the right word. He was kidnapped. He was kidnapped illegally to the extent that even the government now, they are coming out to say they are not connected to it. That is to tell you, me myself, I'm even afraid. Let me not be that. They've injected him with something because there is nothing too difficult for the Nigerian government to do. So far, it has to do with wickedness. They have PhD. So now they arrested this man all the way from Kenya. Some people will say, I heard some people saying, eh, we are complaining that they arrested him and they took him to Nigeria and he was not uh, with Nigerian passport if he is not a Nigerian citizen. Now, I've seen a case where someone will leave Italy as a refugee here in Italy. Someone will leave here from Italy to um, Germany. Once they caught the person there, so far they check him and they see that he has a fingerprint. Now, you don't even have, to, you don't even need to have document now. Just your fingerprint. They check that, yes, you've already completed in Italy. They will carry you. They will return you back to Italy. They will not take you back to Nigeria. This world is just a refugee. Now, come to talk of someone, a citizen of a country. You, you, you said you arrested a person. We all know that it is a case of kidnap. You say you arrested a person. You did not see the person with the person's country uh, uh, passport. Then you took the person uh, 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 to another country, different from the country passport you saw the person with. There are so many miseries, like I said before, surrendering this arrest. And one thing I know is that, you see Nam Dekanu, nothing will happen to him. They cannot do anything to him because uh, his mission on earth here, he has not completed it. He still has a lot to do. So no matter how they try, they cannot do anything to him. And that is it for you all, my people. They cannot do anything. They are not his God. But we are still calling on the international community to intervene in this matter. Because there is no justice in Nigeria. Nigeria, there is nothing like justice or there is nothing. No rule of law. The people we have that don't respect human rights. Now only God. All right, my people, I've come to the end of this video. I'm just going to leave you or share your thought with me on the comment section. I'm supposed to insert that Kenyan government video here, but maybe I will include it on my next video so that I can share my opinion properly on that video because if i want to include it here this video will be super long and i don't want that so please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye bye bye